Check, check, microphone. Testing one, two.
What's going on? Sorry, I'm, um... I didn't just forget that I was streaming, but I was kind of just about to forget that I was streaming. Because I just saw a post for a PS4 that I might be buying. 350 bucks with... It's got like 10 games with it and they're all sealed. Except for one. But it's got Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil Revelations, Resident Evil Origins. So for 350, um, I might try to haggle it down. It's on a Facebook um, Facebook Marketplace page. But thank you, Monshore Bean. Hopefully you had a wonderful day. And now you're going to the land of sleep, which is probably the best place you could ever go. So um, I hope that you have <laughs> a very good night. And as I said, thank you for stopping by, even if it's just for a minute. Alright, there we go. I was wondering where my headphones, the volume in my headphones was. So yeah, we're going around. We are beautifying the town. Let's see how the volume. Let's see how the volume seems very, uh, very substantial. Almost seems maybe like too much on the vocal side. You have a good stream as well in the night stream. A land of dreams, a land of sh dream stream. Take it easy. I'll be streaming again sometime soon. Maybe tomorrow day sometime. I'm trying to maybe, maybe just stream for an hour here. So I was gonna be playing it anyway. So I figured why not set up a stream and stream for a couple minutes. I've been going through today and, you know, I filled out some of my custom designs. I'm gonna be laying some of these patterns down. Um, let's see, we'll go with the link shirt, then we'll have to buy some pants. So I've got some patterns, some new ideas, I'm, um, I'm cleaning up around my house, making around my house just look better, and I'm doing a bunch of different terraforming and Jesus Christ, a million for the tiara? It's like not even the king crown. <laughs> I like I like the purple pants with the link shirt. <coughs> that was a um that was a pattern I found online and downloaded it as well. Let's check out. Okay, I wasn't wearing a hat. I thought I was wearing a hat. Turns out I was just doing construction. So that was my bad. Think about digging up all these flowers here. I'm gonna be building a wall around resident services. I think. I think the shop's gonna go here. I might move it across town though. I'm not really sure how to. I'm having issues making the whole town, like, really come together. Rhinestone shades? Oh, uh, yeah. Actually. Oh, I should have just bought them. I didn't know if you could negotiate it. Oh, that sucks. I don't have a rhinestone glass, and I just thought maybe she would lower her price. I should have known better, though. Now, chances are I won't get those rhinestone shades for the next two and a half years. <laughs> That's probably how this is going to go. Let's 
so we gotta pick all this stuff up. I love Leonardo. Ew, um, I mean, hi. Going for a new look, it seems a little bit extreme, flexing. I mean, when these villagers start singing, that's when I get upset. That's when it's time to hit them in the head with a net. Kind of just go by and I smack them on the head. Just like that. Fortunately, I don't have my net. I gotta take money out and go pay for this, uh, I gotta go pay for this incline that's over at the, um, the Nook's Cranny. What are these guys stretching about? I implore anybody who hasn't played this game yet with headphones on, get yourself a decent pair of headphones and listen to this. The song that's in the shop, with these headphones at least. The damn, the bass, the damn bass is just, it's just thumping. It slaps. Wait, I didn't want to deposit money, I wanted to withdraw. We need about... We need about 150, 160, 167, I think, for this uh, bridge. I gotta say, I'm getting flustered with the old Nook Miles tickets. Getting the Nook Miles. Once you, once you beat the main objective of the game and you finish Project KK, it becomes a lot harder to get Nook Miles all the time, so... Um, to spend all my money on these Nook tickets and then go to these islands, I went to like seven or eight of them this morning and I really didn't get I didn't get anything I didn't get anything that was worthy it's kind of a bummer let's see what do we got I was wondering what we had for music today Buy another street lamp. I'm kind of wondering how exactly to incorporate the street lamps into my island. I don't, I don't really have a great idea for them, other than them just being placed. But maybe I can do like a decent path underneath them, add some flowers next to them. I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll see. Base though is just bumping. It's just it slaps. It's the bass. The bass slaps to the bass. singing KK Fusion. That's probably my favorite song in this whole uh, whole game. That track slaps so hard. So hard. So hard. It just rocks. Actually, let's see what's let's see what's in my pockets. I think we're going with the old brick fencing around this around this joint. watching the stream right now. I see we got a couple people lurking. <coughs> Let's 
see, that's um, that's one too many. I definitely need to see CJ today before the day is up. I need to do some fishing. Not sure what time he leaves, 5 p.m.? Something like that. That's perfect just like that. That's exactly what I wanted. What's up, player? What's going on, Craig? I mean, what's going on, Chris? Ain't talked to you in a little bit. How's how's uh, life been? How's this COVID working out for you? Yeah, the end of the world is going great. How's it going for you? You know, things are all right. They are what they are. I've just been staying put, not really going anywhere. You know. It's kind of strange though, because we got plenty of cases that were in Berkshire County. Plenty of people died. You know, Williamstown. I haven't really, I haven't kept up with any news lately. There was a couple weeks there, solid, where I was paying attention to it every night, watching stuff, but now I'm just over it. Wait, I don't think that's what I wanted to trying to get it to be four-sided and I had it and then it didn't want to do it and then I I didn't even bother trying to fix it so you know let's see where's the I don't know country fencing need more of that blue iron fencing I think that looks pretty good Actually, I don't know if I want to put that there. <coughs> oh, 
Why, what you doing? You playing something? You doing music? You uh, just getting ready for Naughty Night? Look like it hurts. Don't pick fights with boss. Thanks, Rex. That's when you know your villagers are like ride or die for your island. They pretty much will give you medicine every time you walk up to them with your uh, messed up face. some writing. The old Telecaster. Did you have a Telecaster? I didn't know that. Whoa. Orfish. God damn. This isn't a small fry though. See that. I'm waiting for Minecraft Dungeons to come out. I don't know if you've seen anything on that. I think that game, I don't know, something about it intrigues me. And I think when it comes out, I'll be buying it. Not sure if it's going to be more of like a small indie game or if it's going to be decent long. talking about the Dan Electro? Or are you talking about the uh, the M90, the Squire? Because I remember Lesnick and Moreau's both tried getting that back from you because it was Moreau's. Or did they get that back from you? I forget how that story played out. I thought at one point Moreau's was trying to get it from you. What's broken about it? Because no guitar is... Whoops. No guitar is ever that broken. Oh, uh, it won't give me more views. You would think it would, but it definitely won't. I mean, I guess it would if I knew what I was doing. But maybe I should just leave that to you. I think you should be the Minecraft channel, because you actually know what you're doing. And you've been playing it for literally since it came out. Like, I remember you telling me about Minecraft, like, right when it came out, and it, it wasn't a thing yet. sweatshirt here that I got.
still can't get around there. I think I need to. I think I need to chop some of that down. Actually, let's. I gotta go to the store first. Eat a pear, smash a rock. Just like that. And we gotta give this guy the old 168,000. Staircase. Can't wait for that. So what's broken about your Telecaster? Let me know, I could probably fix it. I mean, unless the headstock's broken, in which case I, I could glue it. <laughs> I did that with Mikey B's Acoustic Johnson. small ones and I need the pilot's uniform look at all the stuff we brought in today 13 G's not bad let's see I already have the pool table yeah 77 grand for that uh no Yeah, you're, it's probably the wires in the, the jack, which is one of the easiest things that, I mean, those wires are so thin. I'm surprised that, that there's not like a better housing for it and that they've kept pretty much every jack the same, whether it's on a guitar or it's the input to the front of an amp. They're pretty much all the same and the little wires on them are so small and sleazy. And then you have people that are like first time guitar players, whether they have like a, a cheap strat or even, you know, some some assholes just have money and they're like new to playing guitar and they have like a five, six hundred dollar guitar. And as soon as the input jack becomes loose and the wire falls off, they're like, it's broken. And I mean, it takes all of 23 seconds to fix. And it probably buzzes because you have the, um, the ground is still attached. So when you plug it in, it's still gonna buzz and fuzz, but it's just, you're gonna get nothing, except for the power going through it and humming and fuzzing and making uh, making it sound broken. Is that the guitar you're talking about though? The, cause I remember you had the Dan Electro and that's sort of like a, I don't know, I guess it's like a Les Paul Tally, cause Dan Electros are just weird shaped. Let's see, we'll, we will put flowers there, I think. Well, the old fishing rag. I mean, that's the only thing that I can think of. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's the, um... What do they call that? They call it the Squire 59, 69. Or something, it's like an old, um, it's kind of weird that they did, I mean, there's an actual, there's an actual Fender version of it that they did for a slight period. But that was like a ancient Leo Fender design that he never used. And I think it was when they, when he died in like, I think he died in like 94 or something like that, or 99. Maybe it was later than that, I'm not, I, I don't, I forget. But it was after he died and they, they brought that out and they called it, yeah, I want to say like the 71 or something like that. And those guitars are actually sought after now. Like for a while, like several years ago, I was on the um, the Strat Talk forum. There's like a actual Fender one, then there's a Squire Talk, 
and there's a lot of people on there. Did they, did they, um, you covered it in the red paint marker. Yeah, I remember you drew like symbols and stuff on it. It's got the tally headstock. But I mean, it's not a tally unless you have that top horn, you know, cut off and rounded. I mean, that's really the only tally aspect about a guitar like that, aside from the pickups, because you do have the humbucker and then the sideways single coil, or no, the single coil straight and the humbuckers slanted. See, I'm, I'm Czech Musician's friend. I used to keep up with all that stuff all the time, but I haven't Czech Musician's friend in probably two years. So if they brought it out, that's cool. But when they originally came out, it was probably around the time you got one, like 2005 or six or something like that. Maybe you got it after, but there was the, like the original runs from like 04, 05, 06, and 07. And that's when they were marked down to like $89, which is like, I think that's what you bought that one for, or 99. And then they became, they became sought after because there's a, there's the black one with the white pickguard, which is the one that you got. And then there was a, um, I want to say it was blonde with black pickguard. And even just the pickguard, the white pickguard, I think those things were going for some crazy money for a bit of time. The Firefly. Firefly is the brand of guitar. Firefly guitars are on Amazon. Dual pickup, $76. That's not, um, that's not too bad. I'm gonna check out Musician Friend. You, you talk to Phil. <coughs> Do you run into him or something? I wanna say the last time I talked to him was probably like, I don't know, 2011 maybe? What's he recording on? I'm wondering if by now he has, you know, thousands of dollars of like real equipment. Or if they're just your typical bedroom, basement room recordings. He's got a guitar pedal, that's a drummer. It's probably like a looper band pedal kind of deal. There's actually quite a few of those now. I, thought, I almost got one at one point. I mean, you don't need a drummer when you have a guitar pedal, that's a drummer. Trying to figure out the name of that. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, it's the Squire 51. That's what that damn guitar is. And... Basically, like, yours is going for, like, 225. Yeah, they have the blonde one with the black pit guard. Black with white pit guard. And then they have a sunburst. Two-tone sunburst with pit guard. Yeah, and these things are on reverb. Like, the blonde one is the more sought-after one. Going for, like, 339. Mighty Square 51. 330 on eBay. You have another one going for 275. It's, like... The pit guard, literally the pit guard, you can get 50, 60, 70 bucks for. You got one here for 690. And then at one point they did the, uh, not the road worn, the pawn, yeah, the pawn shop. Fender pawn shop, 51. Fender pawn shop. 51 and I can't tell they're all none of them have the headstock but you have like those ones go for a bit like 900 hello ch haro haro musashi how are you doing Haro. <laughs> oh, hero. Hero Musashi. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Subscribe to D Dub and come back for different types of video. We do Animal Crossing New Horizon. We do Nintendo Switch. We do reviews and retarded impressions and opinions Haro <laughs> I'm pretty sure you meant to type it like that so if you did hopefully I did it justice and if you didn't mean to say Haro then maybe I was a little bit out of line but um yeah whatever Yeah, you kind of you need you need drums for, for good metal I've been playing a little bit I finally set my drums back up but I haven't really played too much I played a little bit a couple days ago I need to wash my drums they're they're gross the black bass drum is covered in just so much crap there's the fountain Need to make more of that iron fencing. I miss jamming too, it's been a bit. It's like I ran into Bob a couple months ago. And uh, I asked if he wanted to jam sometime soon. Cause his kids are like six and a half, seven, and probably like five and a quarter. I mean, it didn't take him too long to have a second kid. to participate in what? Coming to my island and stomping on my flowers? The sweat of the past. So did Phil get back to you? I mean, did you just talk to him like online? And then did he peace out, never to be heard from again? Yeah, it's weird that he reached out to you. I, I would have never guessed that. I've wondered if at any point in time he would get a hold of me, but apparently not. And I always thought if he hated any one of us more, that it would probably be you, sad to say. I mean, I never did... I never, like, argued with Phil. I never, like... 
I never had it out with them. I never said anything like... I just, I never had it out with them. And I mean, I've tried to hit them up on Twitter. Or, I mean, Facebook. And I tried... I tried a bunch of different times, but... It's just a lost cause, so... I kind of give up after a while. Did he say that he wanted to jam with you? I mean, it's probably just one of those cases where, you know, you probably, you probably talk to him for a bit, and then, I don't know, if you say anything that he doesn't like, if you, I don't know, rub him the wrong way, you probably just never hear from him again. Maybe he just misses having friends, I don't know. I never thought that he would. I always figured it would just be like, yeah, fuck you guys. Yeah, unfortunately, that's when adult life is. I mean, it shouldn't be that way, but I don't know. I guess time just sort of takes that. It's the underworld, so you never know. Might we might not get that chance. We might all just expire. If we 
put it here. So there's still gonna be no room. with Phil if he's like, you know, oh, I miss Janet. I mean, you might not hear back from him. I thought at some point maybe I would hear from him, but um, I don't know, it's been long enough that I, I just guess not. Fish on East Yeah, yeah. Yum. Someday I'm gonna get those vocals off of that album so I can listen to it without wanting to choke myself. Which album? Or do you just mean as a whole? I mean, those vocals aren't... They're not that bad, man. I think you're over-exaggerating. Don't look back! Don't look back! Nothing we can do now! You can't tell me that that wasn't a good performance. And I don't know, I don't think there's a way to get those off of there. I mean, it's not like he burnt like a a data disk, I don't think, without getting like a, without having the computer itself, I don't think that there's a way to, um, I don't think there's a way to do it other than maybe a somewhat professional producer, maybe they can somehow, like, have them like, just be a lot quieter somewhere in the background. Omoshiro. Password. I just gotta say that. I'm not... My, my gate's not open. My village ain't open. I'm going around beautifying things. And when you open the gates to have people over, you pretty much gotta stop what you're doing so that you can let people, you know, screw around and do their own thing. I mean, at that point, you're not cutting down trees and planting stuff and all, all those kinds of things. So, unfortunately, I'm kind of just doing it on the solo tip. But, if you subscribe, then feel free to come back in another live stream, because at some point there's a couple other people and I, I will have the gate open. And we're, we will do like a, um, we'll, we'll jump from island to island, and if you can come to my island, then I'll, I'll go to your island. And maybe we can see what kind of stuff you don't have that I don't have, and vice versa, trade stuff, catalog stuff give stuff away, get extra recipes, all the wonderful things that you expect out of Aminal Crossing multiplayer. So, subscribe, Tadadosh CH, whatever your name is, and feel free to come on back some other time. I will be here. I don't know why none of these trees here are growing. I'm not quite sure what the deal is with that. Not 
sure exactly what is accurate. But I'm usually I'm usually I'm usually right. CQ two six T. I mean I'm if you got your gate open, I'm still not gonna be coming because I'm I'm beautifying my my town. So if I leave then I gotta I gotta delay this process. And I'm trying to just get further along with my island. So I appreciate the invite, but I'm not coming. Oh, the Lesnick. I forgot that I even did that. Yeah. Don't look back! Don't look back! Nothing we can do now! Stuck behind glass! You're stuck behind glass! We're stuck behind glass! I'm trying to think of some of the other classic ones, but those are the ones that immediately come to mind. I mean, I hadn't seen him for a few years, and when I saw him at the dollar store, I, I, I went, don't look back, and he just laughed, because he knows exactly what is up. And I was on Facebook like a two, like two weeks ago or something, and I saw that his nephew posted a video of Steve playing the drums. And I was like, oh, nice. And I said, I'm, I'm not sure if it was an older video. But Rose did have killer vocals, but he's also, you know, being a weirdo at times. He's definitely not like that anymore. I really think he just needed a, he just needed to drain the main vein on a girl every once in a while. And he would get all psycho and then Hello, Mikado. 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 Because now Morose is just a normal dude who's got the cowboy hat and the long beard, and it's it's funny because he's a grandpa and he doesn't have his own kids. <laughs> I think I asked him that. I was like, dude, how are you a grandpa when you don't have kids of your own? And he just laughed. Oh, horada, ch, haro, once again. Like, if you don't have kids of your own, I mean, you can still technically be a grandpa. But it's just weird because dude is... I think in between both of our ages. I'm not sure if he was like older than you. I think he was younger than you though and just slightly older than me. So it's just kind of funny that you could be a grandpa at like 31, 30 because the girl he's been with and married to, he's been with her for, I don't know, four years? Something like that. Let's see. I gotta get rid of some of this stuff. Get rid of the brick. Get rid of that. Faded. Is it 420? Oh man. Wow. Oh, 
don't smoke no more, so it's just another day to me, even though I still get excited about 420. Just because of the day that it is. I was thinking it was like the 17th. All these days here. Just kind of running into one another. But yeah, dude, I'll talk to you at some other point. Oh, dude, when I smoke, I freak out. I, unless I drink, I think. It's really just a case of I need to take a few days to get back into it. And then after that, it'd be right back on. I'd be smoking biggest bowl or blunt like every 30 minutes and wasting all the weed. I don't know, the last time I smoked, I it was not a fun experience. Even though I did the day before and was having a, a magnificent time. I should probably go to bed soon. But I always say that, and then I just don't. Darth Lily. Welcome to the light side. How are you doing this evening? What are you up to? Are you being, being good? Or are you being... Evil? symbol but I can't get this sign in the middle of it. I'm not exactly sure how to do that. Wait, since when is this the light side? It's definitely not. If I had to pick one or the other, I would say I'm more on the dark side than the light side. And that's not just Star Wars, that's just life in general, because I'm pessimistic. And I definitely walk on the on the dark side of life. My brain is so dead. Well, you can't really fix a broken brain. <laughs> Not much you're, you're gonna be able to do about that one, I don't think. I need to get some fishing. Who's over here? You're stretching, I think. I think I... No, that was the other villager that I asked. I wrote most of my 4 to 5 pages. Uh, but what is your essay for? What is it on? Oh no. My rough draft was always the final product. I mean, that's just... That's just how it was. So, is it for English or is it for high school? Because if I'm not mistaken, I forget... I forget if you're in high school, if you're like a senior, or if you're still in second grade. So, I'm not exactly sure. I know you're not in second grade, that's just a hero. What's bugging you? Do I have to give it to her to make the other option up here for this next time? Give you a butterfly. I chose whatever VR is the future. Researched argumentative essay. Like, do you just mean VR in the future? Or, um... Oh, for some reason I thought you said you chose um, which VR would be the future. So you love VR, hey? That's your thing? What do you love most about the VR experience? Charles Rogers, hello.
How's it going? So then before I had to turn it in at midnight about an hour ago, I read through it thinking I would need to make a few tweaks. Oh, so you had to hand in your rough draft? And then do you have to go back to it? I mean, my kid's only in first grade and it's been rough doing this school from home because I'm pretty sure the teachers are getting paid. But I mean, the kind of stuff that they're teaching, it's not like, here's your assignment, read this, read these chapters, and then, you know, fill out or do this kind of quiz thing that you could technically cheat on because you're doing it from home. I mean, teaching like kindergartners, first graders, second graders, like, uh, it's hard. Teaching's hard. Oh, you're a junior. To be a junior again. I mean, high school is... High school is high school. And it, it definitely gets old. But what I wouldn't give to kind of just go back to high school for a minute. At least just going back to that age. Those were... Those were the good old days, and those days are sadly long gone. And I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, I can't wait till I'm out of school. Then I don't have to do what people tell me, and I'll get paid for the time that I spend as an adult. But I mean, that gets old within about three months that gets old and you got to do it for the next 45 years so you're taking dual credit classes three english history and pre-cal man i give you credit because my brain when it comes to even like multiplication you ask me what like seven times nine is eight times eight it takes me a minute because uh, I never was really good at just a simple multiplication table beyond a certain point and a certain amount of numbers. For some reason, at some point, I thought, or like a teacher explained to me, see, what's 7 times 9? I think it's 42. And 8 times 8 is 48. But see, I used to think at one point that 8 times 8 was the same as 7 times 9. Because if you take the 7 and you take 1 away from the 9 and you add it to the 8, it's the same thing as 8 times 8. And that's just simply not the case. I know there's like a method to just easily do it. So at one point, I explained that to a teacher. And I was like, well, isn't like six times eight the same as seven times seven because you're borrowing from one or the other and i i explained it or said that like that's what i'm doing and they they agreed with me and so i basically was sticking to that and getting it wrong and this is in like fourth grade or something but that's the way that i saw it so i was like doing it incorrectly yeah or maybe they explained to me that you could do that, but then you need to take into account the extra numbers. Basically a, I don't exactly understand what's going on in your head. Because people add and subtract and multiply kind of in their own ways. But basically if it works for you and you get the right answer, then keep doing what you're doing. I think that was her mentality on it, towards me doing it. Do I own this modern wood flooring? I really like all the the wood floorings and the wood walls in this game. I probably already have that one. I have like all these different odd wood plank. I love them. They make the rooms look awesome. Okay, for the VR question. What you got for me? At least I think I read that right. I think I read that in the tone. 
All right, I asked what games you had, and you were like, I don't have many. And then I mentioned Beat Saber, and you were like, I played Beat Saber for 43 hours yesterday, just in one day. And I was like, damn. And you were like, I love VR. I don't think it's like crazy, but I think it's weird being like a kid nowadays and kind of growing up with that. Especially since, you know, I grew up with like Nintendo and Sega. And if you hand those to a kid nowadays, I mean, I guess they never experienced video games before and that's all they had, they would just play it and probably enjoy it. But when you see like what video games do nowadays, it's like, I am. Could go on about it for hours. Now, which one is better? I think the the quest is the newer one. Like, are are both of those uh, wireless or no? Cause I think even some of those have it down to just like one wire. Or am I wrong? I mean, get me started on the lab though. They didn't try very hard with that, but. I give them credit because it just kind of came out and it died. It seems like, at, at least the way I see it, it feels like they made the Labo with the intention of we have just a couple ideas that we're kind of working on that we don't think are very great. They're not going to take over the VR world. Although I do see from time to time on the old uh, Switch news section that there will be like a new like game that somebody made and they'll basically say, hey, if you want it, go and like update your thing or put in like a code, friend code thing for it or, or something. So I haven't really, I haven't really checked that out too much. I kind of just got it and got over it. But I do wish I had got the other packs. I only got the one with the blaster and the headset. And playing like the ocean with like the taking the pictures. That wasn't very good without the actual camera. So I tried to... I have footage of when I tried to basically make a camera. I took just these like <laughs> pieces of cardboard and I very terribly cut them up with the utility knife and just made the <clears throat> I just made the shape of a camera and put the joy cons in it and that was supposed to be like the focusing lens but it came out terrible I'm an acorn welcome acorn how are you doing Rufus tether quest is wireless but now with the link it can be tethered if you want so, <laughs> it's advanced technology that you can go old school with if you so, so choose so. It has sensors, these have wires. Quest has built in inside out tracking. The insight tracking uses four cameras. Really? I don't know what insight tracking is. Like, like I said, I've never even put one to my face, so I've not actually seen how it, how it does. Because the old school ones, you had to put, you had to put the sensors, like, up on your, like, entertainment stand, right? I, I think there was two of them. So I think even the older ones, you had to use, like, four or six, and they had to be, like, on the different sides of the room. So, I mean, do you have PlayStation? Have you tried the PlayStation VR yet? Or, like, do you have one? Or maybe just tried it? And are you pumped for the next one? Because I don't know if they're going to really do much with it. I mean, if it's going to be, like, a true, like, next-generation VR thing. Or if they're kind of just going to stick with what they have, but repurpose it and put it out or just make the, the one that they have now compatible with it. 
because it doesn't seem like, like I was saying the other night, it doesn't seem like there's a big enough vastness of experiences for VR for people to really bite on it. It kind of seems like most people, they got it for one or two games. And then they, they looked at the library, they got a couple games just to have like a library for it, but that they kind of, they kind of just, you know, tinkered with it for a bit and then just kind of got over it and it just sits there kind of dusty because most people complain about hooking the thing up, which it's like, I don't know, it's just funny to me that, you know, the, the big YouTubers, the big video game YouTubers that are up and coming, you have people like Spawn Wave, who's... You know, he's getting over a million views a week. That guy's making mad cash. And then he's buying up GameCube games on eBay. And, I mean, he's not really flexing or flaunting it, but anytime he can mention it, he will. But then the, uh, what's the thing called? The, uh, the GC... The GC loader, where you take the whole optical drive out of the GameCube, and then it's just an SD slot. You know, he does a video on that, and then he's like, you would want to do this, because, let's face it, I mean, taking taking the discs and going to your shelf and opening the case, or, like, you're going to play your GameCube, you have to, like, open the tray, and then you have to take the game out, and you have to put it back in the case and, like, put it back on the shelf and grab the next one. And he made it sound like it was such a hard thing to do and I just laughed it's like sure having them all on an SD card would be great but as a dude who's actively collecting GameCube you're buying these ridiculous games for two and three hundred bucks off of eBay being like look what I got I mean I'm, this is cool I'm filling up my library and then you're getting the SD card and saying that you know taking the game out putting it in it's a whole thing and that it's so hard that it makes sense. And then at the same time, complaining that there's not physical copies of ev for everything. And then still buying the physical copy every chance you get, even though half of the game is an update. At that point, it's like, what's the point? You're complaining that something old like the GameCube, the discs are hard to take out and that it's this whole issue for you. And that the first chance you get, you're like, get an SD card for it. It's just weird that some people are making out to be like such a big ordeal and that they'd rather just go digital for the retro games and then complaining that there aren't enough physical games now. I don't know. It's, it's a kind of funny thing to, to look at from a certain point of view on the outside. You haven't tried P PSVR. See, I'm wondering if they're going to call it PSVR 2, or if it's always just going to be PlayStation VR. And maybe the old one works with the new one, and it just looks worse. Because that's what I would think. I would think that the older games would be backwards compatible, and then would just maybe look worse on a newer device, or if the screens look better, and it's kind of a, a very slight upgrade for older games, because... I mean, let's face it, you're programming old technology. Like, I'm not sure if, if what, like, the max out is for the technology. If they're really just gonna say that, hey, PlayStation VR now works with PS5. Or if they're really gonna do, like, a, hey, here's the brand new PlayStation VR. Only for PS5. I don't know what they're gonna do with that thing at a time. I can only type so fast. Use this five cameras for tracking. Oh, I'm an acorn. I do have some bamboo. Not the dev kit ones, but the original consumer version. Rift 2 got cancelled. So what is room scale tracking? Is that where you walk through the room and it actually works? So it seems to be that I mean, the most ideal VR experience would be to where you're playing like a Zelda game or something. You're actually like moving around in your your bedroom, but then there's only so much space. So it kind of makes sense that 
even with the I think it's I think it's all of those though, right? The rift and the the other one that they have like that they have like that weird controller for it that has like the shield that kind of goes over like your your wrist. Like I've only seen them like actually up close in uh in like one video. I think it was Review Tech USA who had like a review of the quest right when it came out because that thing came out I don't know eight months ago almost a year something like that and when he showed the controllers up close I was like huh because I had not I hadn't seen them yet custom designs here. Let's go with blue. I don't know if I like that. Oh, that's right. I forgot that you could do these transparents over something. Huh. Let's see. What would that look like? Something like this. Can I play for some? Oh yeah, kind of beautifying my island, which when you have other people over, you can't, so... I mean, I guess I could just real quickly go and grab it, and I could, uh... See, I think you need bamboo shoots. Or do you just need cut down bamboo? Because I might... I gave someone all my bamboo shoots the other day, so I actually might not have those. I don't know what is up with this controller. The reason the ring is on the bottom and the top is because of how the tracking works. Yeah, that's what that's what it seemed like. Or that's how it was explained in the video. I mean, those things are what, like four or five hundred bucks? Let's see, I only have that for bamboo. I need to go to another island. Or a couple. So unfortunately, no, I do not have any any bamboo. Just cut down bamboo. Sorry for the loud thud. Let's see, skull print flooring. Modern wood flooring. I like the skull flooring. Yeah, I like that. What should this this cat's name be? He's my paper tiger. Let's see, I should probably. Put him on a stand at least. I wish I could put him in the basket. Like, I mean, because that's it's a cat bed. And they say it's a cat bed. I wish you could have pets in this game. I think that would be cool. This is my little game of life. 
I guess that's cool that the, the dice comes out of the little cup. Or where does it? It comes off of the cards. That's kind of strange. It's $400. Quest 64 gigs. Because the whole system is the headset, right? And I mean, you have to hook it up to a PC, am I correct? Like, there's no, like, games for it that come on it. What's, like, the, um... I mean, do you buy the games off the store? That's, like, one of those things you don't really hear too much of, so I don't really know anything about it. All your tools would automatically go to the top row here. Like always. I should probably wear that eye patch at all times for when I get stung, which is every single time I play this game. And then I have an effed up eye. The rift is PC VR. Personal computer virtual reality. So it is a tethered headset, no external sensors. So hook it up to the PC and you're ready to go. That's cool. I just, I think it would make me vomit all over the place. I really do. Let's see, country fencing, simple wood fencing. What others we got? Iron and stone. Iron and stone. Brick. And... Imperial. How do you reproduce bamboo? Um, it kind of takes a bit. I actually haven't seen it in a while because I kind of I cut down. I'm not sure if you need to replace bamboo if it stops growing after a certain amount of time. Um, I'm actually not too certain on how that goes because when you go to like a mystery island, you sometimes have the uh, the little star holes that you dig up that usually have fossils in them. Unlike the mystery islands, when you use the nook miles, you'll see them right next to the bamboo. It's so right here, I haven't seen one next to here in weeks. Maybe longer than that, but when you go to like a mystery island, you'll find plenty. So, I mean, as long as you have 200 or 2,000 nook miles, you go to Mr. Island. You go, I mean, as long as you get the Bamboo Island, which can take a while. I mean, that's the same one that you make the Tarantula Island on. And I've been trying to do that for... I mean, I haven't tried too hard. This Earlier today, I went to, like, probably six or seven different islands, and I didn't get a single Bamboo Island. They were all... One of them was, well actually two of them were nothing but, when you fished, it was nothing but trash. I picked up nothing but tires and tin cans. I don't think I could overcome VR sickness. Let's see. I need to clear out behind here. That way I can get back there. I'm not s totally sure. I'm not sure what to do with the rest of my island. I've been watching some of these tip videos and looking at different islands. There's one YouTuber, he's been going all these different five star islands. Some of them I don't really envy anything about. But, um, the YouTuber Nintendo Talk. 
his island. I'm like, I, I really like his island a lot. He has so many different little spots. And some of them are hidden. Some of them you can't even tell that they're there. And just the density of everything and how he, he put it all together is like... I don't know. It's, uh, it's amazing. Dare I say amazing? No, it's, it's amazing. He has a full-blown baseball field. The five-star island thing, I don't know if I'm ever gonna get that to happen. Last I knew, I was at three stars, and that was a couple days ago. You just need to beautify your town, not have weeds, not have anything like... Some trees randomly drop branches, and if you even have one branch touching the ground, it'll take your five star down to a four star. So I'm guessing you pretty much have to get up to the four star. And then make sure that you don't have a single weed, you don't have a single stick touching the ground. I'm not sure if you need to have like all fruit plants treated, or all fruit trees planted, and if you need to have I mean, it comes down to you do need a certain amount of trees as well as flowers planted, but I don't think anybody will ever be able to tell how many that actually is. But I'm not sure if they need certain placements or I'm not sure if you need to have, um, I mean, it would make sense you need to have all the buildings. I'm not sure, but it would stand to reason that you would need all of your villagers and houses maxed out that you would need to have, like I said, all the stores and such. Maybe you need the same thing for your bridges and inclines maxed out, but I'm not exactly sure. I'm gonna be ordering the Animal Crossing New Horizons book. I actually meant to do that weeks ago and I forgot about it and it actually just came out the other day. The thing is like, the thing is like 400 pages and it's probably pretty, pretty useful. What happened? Did my vaulting pole, pole, vaulting pole die? I think it died. Do I know how to kick villagers? Not exactly. I've only been able to get rid of one and that's because she walked right up to me and said uh i think i'm leaving and i said okay there's videos on it though and there's a few ways that you can do it like not talking to them literally whatsoever and you can also you can build like a fence around their house and so that every morning they come out they're basically stuck in this fenced-in area and I think you need to do it every day because they will randomly spawn outside their house so every day you could come out and they could be outside of the little fenced-in area that you put around their house to keep them from coming out of their house and then eventually they just look down at the floor with the little pout bubbles over their head and then at that point, you need to literally not talk to him for, I think it's at least a couple days. So, there's a little, it's a little, it's a little bit tricky. Oops, I didn't need to, to do that. I need to get the rest of these items out of my pockets. I need to go set the wind turbines down. I want to come up with, like, a really good spot for those, but I haven't got anything in mind yet. Get rid of flowers. I'll keep the nugs. Yeah, I need to look at another one of those how to kick villagers off your island kind of things. I know if you just don't interact with them at all, it's almost a sure thing that at some point they're gonna be pouting with the little lines over their head. I think it's the three lines, like the, the chalk lines. 
Maybe it's not the bubbles. Because they can pout in different ways. Like, earlier today, one of my villagers was pout, and I thought they were going to say that they were moving. So I kind of made the mistake of talking to them. Because they were walking around going, hmm, not sure. And then when I walked up to Rex, he's the dog with the beard. When I walked up to him, he was like, here, do you want this? Um, I don't, he gave me something, I forget. I forgot what he gave me, but he gave me something. And I was like, I thought you were saying you were going to move, and I was going to tell you that I'm totally fine with that, but... Now you gave me something, so now I kind of feel bad for wanting you to move. Like, old Billy Goat here, he's gotta go. His house is trash. His rug is trash. So it's really just a matter of trial and error, just like a lot of things. It seems like a lot of the stuff in this game they've tried to do to keep, like, a mystery. I mean, there's things in, like, oh, I did the same exact thing yesterday. God damn it. I need money trees. I did the same exact thing yesterday. That sucks. sell the N64 fan. If he's online, then that means he's probably going to be showing up here any second now. He probably just awoke from his slumber throughout the day. Once I saw that, he hasn't been online for probably the past eight hours. So I'm going to assume that he's doing like me and either playing Animal Crossing for sleeping. You got Raymond. I think he's a he's a bear. I know he's like a he's a sought after character, but I forget what he even is. What the frick? Yeah, I'm guessing also for the Five Star Island, you probably have to have a certain number of paths, maybe utilization of all different types of fences, probably even a certain amount, or like, well, I guess it would be a number, but a, a certain number or length of pieces. So you're gonna go and you're gonna go to bed. Thank you for stopping by. I'm sure I will see you in the future. Good luck with your sleep. That's the best part of living, is sleeping. I mean, everybody knows that. But as always, thanks for coming by and chatting for a few about the dark side and about VR. I appreciate it, as always. 
and hopefully you'll be on the dark side in your sleep. 100 million dollars. <laughs> Sorry. I love Dr. Evil. I actually was watching clips of Austin Powers the other day. Well, at least you're going to bed at about 2.45. Yeah. I mean, it's 3.45 here, so I'm in the future. You could go to bed now and get future sleep. Hopefully it works well for you, though. Do you ever play DS, Darth Lily? Do you own a Nintendo DS? I meant to ask you that earlier. If you've already pieced out, then no worries. Yeah, this controller, god. I'm actually, like, not very happy about this. This is the... Ah. See, I'm pushing up right now. Up is down, and down is down. And this thing was working fine. I don't know what happened to it. For the longest time, I was having trouble pairing it back to the Switch. So for a long time, I didn't use it. Probably for like three or four months, I didn't use it at all. And I took it apart the other day, and I kind of I thought I cleaned it. I mean, it didn't need to be cleaned. This thing is pretty much brand new. I mean, when you really don't use a controller, it's it's pretty much brand new. And so now it's just being a piece of crap and it's not working. I used to have a 2DS, but it dies you. I mean, that's the way to go. I only have the, the uh, wedge-shaped 2DS. Which is fine. I saw one the other day for sale for like 40 bucks. I might still get it because it was a 3DS. Yeah, just a, the new 3DS. If I could ever get like a cheap 3DS XL, I definitely would because the screen on it's nicer. And I mean, the amount of games that's on it. Plus, I have the highly recommend one of these multi-carts. Like right here I have the 208 and one. It has like all the Pokemon games. Um, it's got Zeldas on it. It's got Kirby's. It's got Dragon Quest. It's got Mario's. It's got Mario sports games. You know, it's got a bunch of stuff. And I bought it specifically just for the games that were on it. And it's basically just a cheap thing with a you know, cheap micro SD card in it. Which the reason I have it up here is because I'm trying to, well, I'm going to be doing and trying to tinker with it and put some other ROMs on it. Because it's funny, it says 208 in one, and then when you put it in the DS, it says SpongeBob something, something about his pants. But it has like, it's got Mario Kart DS on it, and that thing was like 12 or 13 bucks. So the way to go is to get a few multi-cart games. And granted, they're all DS games, not Nintendo, or not like 3DS games. But I mean, they have other ones that are like 18 bucks and they have 500 games on it. So, I mean, really it's like, if you could find like a cheap 2DS for like 30, 40 bucks, and then 15, 18 bucks for one of those cartridges, you're talking about like 500 games worth of, you know, that's like a great, birthday present, Christmas present kind of combo for any gamer or kid. So, we have some games right now. I'm focused on expanding my VS VR collection and saving up for my own VR capable PC. So, I mean, does your, do you even get to use your VR? Oh, so at least you have access to use the thing. Even if it's not all the time, or if, like, he's busy with it, or someone's using the PC. So do you just not like console gaming? Is that your spiel? I mean, I, if you ask me, VR isn't... It isn't very 
dark side. You know what is dark side though? It's the Nintendo Switch. Badasses play the Nintendo Switch. Darth Maul, Darth Vader, Darth Sidious, Darth. I forget. I haven't watched those movies in years. They all play the Nintendo Switch while they're taking on the world and destroying humanity for everyone. It's just never allowed to play video games. Well, hopefully you get A's in school because if if someone's you know not letting kids play video games, their their grades better be A's. If you're somehow getting C's and D's then you might as well have been playing video games the whole goddamn time. I mean, I played video games. I wasn't, like, obsessed with them, but I had plenty of video games growing up. And, I mean, I can't lie that, you know, I wasn't really a D student, but I was a consistent half C, half B, and then the, the rare gem of an A minus thrown in there from time to time. I mean, the first three years of high school, those were C and B slash kind of D tier, and then I finally, my senior year, I had pretty good A's and B's across the board. That was really one of the only times I did that, though. And then I didn't go to college, and here I am. I'm still a bum, so I, <laughs> I didn't really make good use of my time there. So say what you want. Really just Minecraft and Portal. Is there a Portal VR game by chance? Let's try out one of these other patterns here. Ah, God, I hate that this controller doesn't work anymore. Well, you know what, Darth Lily, then? When you do get yourself a PC, or I guess even now, as long as you have a... No. No what? I forget what I even just said. Oh, as long as you have... Well, I forgot what I said before that. But as long as you have a... Um, a USB controller. I mean, you can download all sorts of emulators. You can be playing GameCube, 64, Super Nintendo, NES... Sega, Saturn, everything. Has anyone got a good turn up price? I have a great turn up price. My turn up price is at an all time high right now. By the way, Barris, how really? Hey, you, hey, you really? Subscribe if you want to know what my turn up price is. I might even tell ya. Wait, yes, there's a mini series. On on what? Ignore your broken brain. It's just making mistakes. Hey, I would blame my brain too. I don't wanna take accountability. Just subscribed. My turn up price. Sixty two bells. You wanna come to my island? I'm guessing that's gonna be a no. pretty cool. Okay, I can... I can live with this. I'm sorry that I mess with your feelings like that. 
I'm hoping for a better turnip price tomorrow. And if there is, if you want to add me as a uh, friend on Switch, you can feel free to do so. I'll give you my friend code here. My... Because I'm like time traveling. I'm going with a customized approach. So it's like 3 p.m. in my game right now. So that's the afternoon price of like, yeah, like 68 or 62. And I want to say this morning's was 50, 52 or 58. So it, it really didn't change much. So I'm hoping that tomorrow, maybe I'll get to like 100. I mean, if it's like 148. I mean, it's Wednesday, so we have until Saturday. I might wait the whole week out, though. Like, if I lose money, I'm, co I'm cool for that. I mean, if it's... I bought them at 92 a piece, so, I mean... I, I've got quite a few. Enough to where if they were, like, 200 bells, I'd probably pull the trigger. I hear damn balloon and those things are rare right now I've only gotten one today and it's over the water so we're gonna wait a minute I do have turnips I mean you don't check the turnip price unless you have turnips I know I don't if I don't have turnips to sell I don't want to know the price but apparently the price can go up to 800 bells which I when I found that out I was like seriously I thought it was maybe 200. I'll help you right now. I'll time travel for you. Well, then why? If you have no turnips, why do you want to know what my turnip price is? I thought you wanted to know so that you could, you know, come over to my town and sell your turnips. I thought that was the whole point. Let's see this. This present's gonna fall in the water, so I'm not doing it. It's gonna have to come over to me. Oh, cause you asked if I, well, you asked if I had turnips, but I was just saying that, like, I've been waiting to see what the price was, cause I'm waiting to pull the plug on it. I mean, I spent like, I don't know, 180 grand on them, something like that. Ooh, a gold nugget. Alright, I'm gonna climb up here. Good night, Lily. Thank you for swinging on by. So you just got a little. See, right now for this next week in game. I'm trying to just save money. I mean, I just spent 170 grand to pay off a staircase. But otherwise, I'm just trying to rack money up so that, I mean, I want to spend a couple million on turnips at some point. I'd like to get a huge jump on investment at some point in this game. Because I'm sick of, I'm sick of grinding and just getting nothing and only having like 30,000 bells at a clip. I want to be able to just keep saving and keep saving and keep saving and have so many bells that I can just do whatever I want and move any building whenever I want. I'd like to be able to get like up to 10 million, 10 million bells worth. Jesus. The most I've had in my account, or total, I would say in this game, is probably 400, like 400,000. Because then the next thing would come up, and I'd move a building for 50k, and then buy a $200,000 bridge or incline. Actually, the most I had, yeah, the most I had was after I got a Tarantula Island, and... I had every space in my inventory was tarantulas, except for one, and Flick was on my island, and I was lucky enough to 
basically see him like 10 minutes before he left town. And instead of getting like 200k, I got like 480 something thousand, so I actually had more than that. I'll spend 3 million, make 23 million. I'll make you more. So, that's pretty much, I've only really bought turnips like twice. I've since though put a couple turnips out front, so that way they rot. And then the ants will come and I can catch an ant and give it to the museum. So, little tip if you didn't do that for some reason. I, f I had forgotten all about that, I didn't even think to do that. And someone mentioned it and I was like, that's right, duh, catch ants. It's just such a small thing. Like in New Leaf, your fruit would just fall from trees and you'd have the rotten ones. So I think that's making a comeback. Um, I don't know if you've heard some of the rumors for upcoming content that's supposedly coming to the game. That the old, um, the old line hackers have found, but it's pretty interesting and I can't wait to see if it's true or not if it's true I'll be pretty pretty pumped up I'd like to see captain make a comeback wink wink although I don't know if that's actually gonna be the case or not I'm not really sure no one can be sure What is my dodo code? I'm just playing, so I don't actually have my gate open. My turn prices are 111. You can make more though. Make more what? Turnips? I mean, 111 isn't too high. The last time that I spent like 100 grand, I bought them for like 95, and then I sold them at like 107, and I just barely made any money on it. But I had none, so I kind of said screw it. So I think I'm gonna wait until, you know, I'm hoping at some point we'll see like a three or four hundred dollars in Bell. I mean, when I don't have turnips, I don't check the prices, so maybe I should start checking more and seeing if there's like a rhythm to it. That way I could plan ahead a little bit more. I know that there's the there's the turnip calculator, which gives you like kind of a rough estimate. At least you can see like a pattern to it. And then you can know when optimal buying time would be. All right, we're finally putting these out. Actually, I think I want them right up on the edge. Actually, actually. You'll make it more helpful? How, how do you make it more helpful? That's okay right there. Let's see what else are in my my old pockets. Palm tree lamp.
I wonder how a floor light looks behind some of these. Oh shit. How do you make turnip prices change? Like, I don't think that's even a thing. Uh, I just want to put the floor light kind of behind the fence. Yeah, like that. Sort of. It's gonna have to work though. The game doesn't understand what I want. You just time travel. That's a lot. So if you have turnips though, I mean, don't your turnips spoil in your pockets if you have some? How do you have some? Unless you have, like, multiple switches. Or even villagers. I'm not sure how that works. But I know if you time travel, your turnips will spoil, right? Because, I mean, you asked what my turnip price was. And when I said 62 or 68, you were like, well, that's helpful. So it was like, you wanted my turnip price. But now it's almost as if you never asked for what the, the my price was, that you were just trying to help me out. So I don't you know, I think that's... I don't know, I'm a little confused on that. Why would you let them rot for me? I will. I will come to your island and sell them. So it's going to take me a minute so I can sell all my goods and then drop the rest of the stuff off at my, his house. Bitter Tommy. Just in hell. Ah, what's going down? Welcome to D Dub, the land of the great. You are on the island of Double Land. Let's see, I'm up to 220 subscribers. Brian Hayerrill has subscribed. Thanks, man. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate that. We've been fluctuating up and down. 220 is what I was at the other day, and then I went down to 219. It's basically every day I lose a subscriber, so I think that's just YouTube doing it. I mean, when there's new channels I find and I don't religiously check back in on them, the notifications stop, like, real quick. The recommended doesn't even 
end up happening. So I know it's the same for me. People subscribe, they randomly come to a live stream or something. Maybe they don't like my videos or they just don't care to check in every moment and then they stop getting the notifications and then that's pretty much it. And then YouTube, it's kind of their fault because they're basically like, hey, we're not recommending to you. So it's pretty much your fault. And then they just go ahead and unsubscribe you for you because they think that they're, they're helping. Let's see, someone lost this? Oh, gasp. I'll probably be going to some islands. I probably will have some bamboo. So, yeah. Thank you, Acorn, for coming by on this wonderful evening, morning, and checking out my stream and hanging out with me. Much love. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Hopefully you have a good night. Oh, I don't want that. I think I've even been back here in a day or two. I forget if I have turnips back here. Okay, I don't. <laughs> I keep that song on repeat so that I can play the synthesizer, the saxophone, the guitar, and the marimbas in between. And I basically cover the main theme song for For Animal Crossing New Horizons, that's what I meant to say. If you ever watch this channel and you see live, screen, live streams, there's plenty of times where I just don't finish sentences that I say. Okay, so I thought I had more turnips than that. The other day they were flooding all the rooms, so maybe I, maybe I didn't buy as many as I thought. Good thing I saw that one. And that one. So I'm going to bring my fishing rod. Is there anything that you need, Barris? catalog that you need you want a blue corner you want something for your troubles you don't need nothing okay well appreciate you man fxgnx got a notification from Dr. Phil. He just uploaded a new video. He's been uploading three videos at a time. Like in three minutes, he'll upload a new video. See, this monkey's kind of sad. I wonder if... Look like you're thinking. Thinking hard. Brain not working. I wonder if he's contemplating moving from my island. I mean, I want to see some new island islanders, villagers on my island. I want to visit some. I'm 
Looking for an island. You know, I'm surprised. Kurdistan. I'm kind of surprised that. Uh, like the dodo code is so short. And then for like the custom patterns and for the custom pattern profile that you could search through, that those are so long. And those are all 12 digits. And the dodo code is five. Okay, use that. So, oh, that's right. I forget. Whenever they say that, I'm like, what is he talking about? And I feel like they're talking about my phone for a minute. be back in 30 seconds, 20 seconds. Welcome back to Kurdistan here on Dita. If anybody's joined for the first time, we're visiting this guy's island. We're just going to take a peek and see just what exactly he has going on here. So I see that there's still a few people watching here. See what your island is looking like. Got some ball and hoops. I like the way you got the rivers laid out. You got some cool weed patches here. I like this just small beach area that you got right here. That's not too bad. Oh, that's right, my vaulting pole died. Yes, yeah, so you got the snack machines right around the same spot that I got. So, I got booted. Okay. I don't know what the whole point of that was, but... Oh. 
Let's see what my internet's looking like. I mean, I'm not like, I don't know, two, two bars. Yeah, I think he, I think he peaced out. So, Barris, did you see the, the update rumors on stuff that should be coming to Animal Crossing? Maybe in the next week or so, because we got Earth Day coming up. And it's being kind of speculated that that might be when this happens. Well, I won't spoil it for you, but there's a guy on Twitter, and he's a, uh, what do you call it, code searcher, and he's found a bunch of things that seem possible. I mean, the code was... He's basically looking at code from the old version and now the new version. And he's seeing things that make potential for certain things. And I guess he's also speculating, so it's maybe not 100%, but it seems to be like a 75%, 80% chance that some of this stuff is going to happen. I mean, it's seeming like there's going to be vegetables. Which I was hoping for that. Pumpkins and, and stuff like that. Because it seems, compared to New Leaf, kind of lackluster. Like, we don't have bananas. It's seeming like Captain is going to come. So I'm wondering if there's going to be an additional island that you can go to. Which I was thinking beforehand anyway. Or, you know, whether it's Captain or some new guy. Maybe you go to Gulliver's Island. Maybe you go to Harv's Island, maybe you take a boat out of there. It's sounding like your your back hidden beach. You're gonna have a boat show up there. Oh, you got a chicken. Hello, Plucky. Chicky poo, swing by anytime you like. So yeah, you have like the same snack machine next to your phone. Like you got like the basic paths and fencing going on. From what it seems, your your place isn't all cluttered like mine. Mine's got a lot of random clutter. Oh, you got Flick. Oh hey Flick. What's going on? I divide myself into three secret sacred segments. I'm the head thorax and abdomen of the universe. I'm Flick. I'm a fan of our six-legged friends. Blah, blah, blah. See, you got, like, nature going on. You got your fruits. And you don't have ants yet? Why did you spoil all your turnips? Just for me. Are you gonna be doing anything crazy with your island or are you just happy having it? You know, just basic fencing. I mean, I don't know how far you've gotten into the game or how much you've played. But I kinda like just the basic layout, not too much going on. You got some cut down trees. Oh man, you don't even have your inclines yet? Got that bottle over there you should probably get learn a new receipt at least you can run all the way around your top area do you like having weeds everywhere my OCD is like 
saying. You need to spend an hour or two just pulling weeds. over here some plain beach action going on came out pretty decent. I know you can build tennis courts or I guess maybe even a hockey rink. Got the cotton candy machine. seen a kangaroo yet. I always wonder if going to different islands, talking to different villagers, that increases the likelihood of having similar villagers show up to your own place since I've never... Is this your house? Or do you have a second player here? Right, I'm guessing you can choose not to upgrade your house if you don't want to. Oh, I just stepped on one of your roaches. I hope they didn't have families. You're saying you have like 23 million bells in the king's crown and you don't have anything super crazy going on in your island? Oh, gold roses, nice. I've been trying to crossbreed, but I kind of suck at it. favorite flowers are the wind flowers or the cosmos there 400 and whatever and I spent 92 on each that means I'm going to make carry the 10 I'm not exactly sure how much I'm gonna make 1.2 mil
And now I just need to make 10 million off of the stock market. Red tulips. White tulips. I'll buy some tulips. So I'm guessing you have a friend or something that you went to their island and you probably got, um... See, I have one of these, but it's empty. But they called it something else. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Verkauft. Okay, what? Are you playing in, like, Germany? See, those are the... Those are the, the pocket camp extras, correct? I actually just signed into pocket camp earlier, and it's still on my phone. I need to basically get to a point where it's going to give me the extras. Do I want a gold axe? If you have a gold axe. But like, how do you have just like basic island and not much going on in it, but then you have like all this money and you have like the golden axe. I'm guessing you don't have like the golden net, shovel, or the, um, Slingshot, that's what it's called. God, that was a brain fart. But I mean, how do you have just like these two gold roses over here? And then you don't have any, you don't have any gold in like anything else. Let's see, I get points just for touching the golden axe. If your tools are glinting gold, your account will be bursting with gold soon. Sure is cold this time of year. I'm guessing guessing Germany's not too different from the uh, New England area of Massachusetts. buried under here. <laughs> Is there just like nothing buried there? <laughs> I thought about doing something like that and just kind of hiding it out of the way behind a fence. Just moved here, I'm still figuring out all the best boulders to lift. 
So he's like the resident tough guy. You know about Barris' title, right? Check it out, it's the very first island dweller. <laughs> What a tough bear. Let's see, who else lives in this island? home here. I want to see if one of your residents is like making something that they'd be like here have a uh, have a recipe that you've never had before. It's the best moo. Kind of like that. She's got like the benches. She's got that dome shaped chair. We got ourselves a flicky poo. So you have two, four, six, eight. You have eight total islanders. And then I guess, well, I guess one of those houses is just yours. And then the brother's tent. So what time is it right now in Germany? It's gotta be like noon. This is a house. Wait, she's building something. What's she doing? I was gonna say 10, and then I was gonna say 11. Because I'm guessing you're about three hours. Well, no, it's. You're an hour ahead of England? Or two or behind? Oh, you see, I'm working on a Cosmo shower. I'm gonna make a Cosmo shower. Please teach me. I was, I, that's like one of the things that I almost forgot that when you go to other islands, you go and see if a village is working on something. That way you can get a new recipe. Because some of the stuff I might never see or it might take years. So it definitely helps to go to everybody's town. Just got the vial in here. It's currently playing Mr. KK. I don't have that one yet. I really don't know how many different songs from KK they put in this game. Seems like a lot. New Leaf had had a decent amount, but it wasn't as many, I don't think, as in this game. So where is your house? Where am I going here? Actually, I think I gotta go around. See, there's no like straight up blip. Like, you have to go to the phone and then the map to see where you live. It's weird that she said you should move here.
gotta keep the stove going at all times. And the washer. And at least you have a fridge. It's working for you, me slamming on it. Every other button press is just flat and blank because it's like lagging a little bit. So you got a TV, you have a shower stall. I haven't found a TV. I haven't found like a home appliance. I haven't found you have a washer, a fridge, a TV. Those are like basic things I haven't found. And they're not for sale. And it's really kind of strange that the rest of the game kind of goes in its own phases. So no matter who you are or how you're playing the game, at least until you finish like the KK slider thing and you can get everything upgraded to your town, you're going to have a similar experience, but when it comes to items and certain basic things, like me, I don't have, I don't have like basic end tables. So what does Mode Schneider mean? Is that actually the equivalent of the Able Sisters or is it kind of something different? playing this game is all your dialogue and all that it's all in German and then I come along and it's not Ooh, a halo I definitely gotta buy up some of your clothes. I don't have some of this stuff. So I need a tiara and I need the angel thing on my head. The halo, that's what it's called. How could I forget that? Yeah, baby. Yeah, I'm getting myself some nice fits. See, I wish I could just sort of bulk buy the things that I don't have.
looking fly. socks I like these high tops those are sweet that's why I'm trying to buy up all the colors at least a few I'll just go ahead and slip what you're wearing into your inventory thanks for letting me come to your island and check your stuff out check your shops out when it came to new leaf going online going to someone else's island wasn't I mean, it was kind of vital to get certain things, like, you know, maybe some fruits. But really, there wasn't a huge need for it. But now, it's like you're coming over, you're seeing other people's clothes, you're getting to buy that. You're getting to trade different stuff. See, I'll take the business suit coat. Oh, you need the halo. I'll get out of your way then. Let's see, pants, we got the cop uniform. I need to talk to her today. Now is never a good time, Sable, I know. Apparently she's busy calculating what you're doing in there. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else. I, I guess I'll buy one other thing. I kind of like the groovy look, but that's... I don't know. A little... Effeminate? Feminine? Socks. I can buy more stuff now. What do you mean? You know, it's weird that you can't just go up to someone and, like, talk to them or that there isn't any just regular, like, predetermined dialogue. Wait, red is what you're wearing right now in real life. Oh. Yeah. Let's see if she's going to threaten me again. Finally feels like it wants to warm up. It's almost like my bones are thawing you now. Just thinking of gearing up for some ice skating once the weather's right. What do you think? I've thought about playing this in the opposite season and fast forwarding or picking the other hemisphere. Making a new game and doing that or picking a new hemisphere or just time traveling to see the snow. But I feel like I'm going to at least wait a bit until I get completely sick of that to actually do it. Oh man, it's 4.50 in the morning. 
All right, I'm gonna end this live stream. I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna get off your island. Maybe in the future we can do some more playing together. subscribing right now let's see is he still he's still live technically so hello everybody welcome welcome to v-dub i'm gonna be ending this live stream just after i get off this guy's island so i'm pretty much gonna be ending it here maybe i can find somebody to put you guys onto the next person but I subscribe to Primal Dialga. Anybody who's new, my name's D Dub. I'm a gaming channel. Obviously. Captain Obvious over here. Let's see, I'm gonna get off of your island here. Um, Barris. Thank you for having me, and thank you for letting me buy the stuff at the shop, buy the Halo. Zim's Bay, subbed. I appreciate it. I've gone from 200 to like 220 something here just over the two or three days ago just from like a live stream or two that I did so doing these live streams playing this game it's working out for the subs I don't know about views on videos this whole COVID thing I really haven't been doing too many videos so I'm gonna be getting back on that soon so yeah I mean I do a lot of Nintendo stuff Animal Crossing has been the main thing for the channel for the past, since it came out. But I do like unboxings, I do reviews, other products, other like looks at, like demos, things like that. It's mostly Switch stuff, just because I don't have a PS4 and Xbox, I don't really honestly play a lot of, although I do have one, so... Uh-oh, you get sleepy, Zim's Bay, don't get sleepy. Gotta play more Animal Crossing. Sounds like the plane crashed. That's exactly what that sounded like, which I never noticed before. I don't do too many going to islands, but I will be streaming coming up in the future, so maybe I can come to some of your islands on one of these next live streams that I do. I'm going to definitely be doing more of a group get together and stream and do island hopping and basically help people out see what you guys need see what you guys don't have drop items like catalog them that way you can get them for yourself those types of things so that's gonna be what's going on more toward in the future i plan to get it after the whole corona thing can you come to me please what do you mean come to your channel R.I.P. No Animal Crossing. I don't have Animal Crossing. Zim's Bay? You definitely gotta get it. I mean, I understand the... With everything that's going on right now, it's not the best time. That's why I'm glad I bought this physically, because actually, for the first time I went to Walmart the other day, and they don't have any physical copies of this game. So that was kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer. But as you can see, I gotta thank Bor Paris. Not Boris, Paris. He allowed me to go to his island. He gave me a golden axe. This dude let me sell my turnips there for a record breaking 450 or 470 something. So I now have one point. Once I put it into storage, I have like 1.3, 1.4 million. So I gotta I gotta mail you some bells. I meant to actually drop like a bag at your doorstep before I left. I should have definitely done that. 
It was not proper etiquette on my part. So, apologies, Barris. You may need to call Walmart to see if they have any more copies. They'll definitely be stocked up on it at some point. That's what you'll have to do. Or, I mean, you could buy it digitally. I only bought it digital. I, I was so pumped that you could pretty much get it pre-ordered that I had some eShop money and I figured, hey, if I don't get it, if I don't get it, when it comes out, then I'll just buy it beforehand, and I figured I was probably going to be buying a digital and buying a physical, too, so the physical is still going to be happening, I'm still going to be buying that. I mean, you can make space for digital. Just take a game that you're currently not playing, that you, I mean, it doesn't delete your save, so you can definitely, did that just go into storage? So yeah, I mean, you can take a game that you're not playing and pretty much delete it, but it doesn't delete your save, so don't, you know, don't forget about that as well. You definitely can do that. And one thing about Nintendo games versus others, like I would go for the, I would go for digital when it's a smaller game because Animal Crossing is only like 4.6 gigs, so that's maybe takes 15, 20 minutes to download depending on your internet. But it's one of those things where it's not like, you know, when I downloaded, like, Fortnite, I mean, that was, like, I don't know, 12 gigs, 10 gigs, 9 gigs, something like that. Something like Assassin's Creed Revelations 2, I think, is the one that has the code that's not on the cart. I mean, that thing was, like, I don't know, 22 gigs or something. That takes, like, that takes a couple hours. But right now, pretty much, I have, like, Luigi's Mansion 3. I have that digital, and that's... I can't even see myself right now. I can't see what's in my pockets. Yeah, not having the money is kind of like, uh, kind of sucks. Archived the Batman game because I beat that. Yeah, I can, I can understand that. Let's see, we've received plenty of Nook Miles. I'm gonna be going here. I think I need to buy a customized phone case because I have this sweet Game Boy look. I thought about downloading the, the Sheikah one. Sergeant Lieutenant, thank you for stopping by. If you subscribe, if you did, I didn't check yet. Sometimes I don't get the notification. So if any of you guys subscribed, I want to say thank you. I'm kind of just got the live stream here on my phone. I'm going to be wrapping things up in a minute. But feel free to come back any other time or, you know. The only way to really know when I'll be streaming is to, of course, smash that bell. But if you don't, then hey, maybe I'll see some of you guys in the future. Like I said, going to be doing some island hopping, seeing what people have, etc, etc. You know how the deal goes. I'd like to see some of your guys' islands as well. Maybe make a video on it, put it in a video. That's definitely a uh, to-do on my list, is to go to some islands, showcase what some of you guys' ideas are, see some higher tier type islands. Sergeant Lieutenant Major Dong, that's different. I subbed. Do you have 454 normal wood for me? I don't, actually. If I did, I would definitely give it to you, though. So maybe I can chop some down and... Molestar, I would love to come to your island. Unfortunately, it is 5 o'clock in the morning for me, and I am running back to my house right now to end this live stream. So I'm gonna say my goodbyes as I run to the opposite side of my island. It's really not that far, but I want to thank, um, what is the channel here that you guys rated from? Primal Dialga. I saw that he has 864 subscribers or whatever. So I'll be checking his channel out. I just really quickly went to it just to see what the channel exactly was. So I'll be checking out some of your stuff. Primal Dialga, no space, come to my island. I also turn notifications on. Thank you, Sergeant Lieutenant Major Dog. 
I love that name. I hope to see more of you in the future going forward. That would just be hilarious. Sergeant Lieutenant Major Dong. That's quite the screen name. I give it one big fat thumbs up. So guys, once again, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the raid. My name's D-Dub. I do all sorts of different stuff here. And I appreciate everybody for stopping by. If you're watching this in the future, then this was a Animal Crossing New Horizons live stream. That went for three hours. We're beautifying the town. And I will be back with more Animal Crossing New Horizons content right here on YouTube, right here on D-Dub. Not necessarily yours. Not. Let me try that again. Not the source, but a source. Hopefully your source for all sorts of different things. Animal Crossing involved New Horizons. Stuff on the Nintendo Switch. Unboxings, reviews, stupid opinions, dumb videos. Go check out my channel. Check out the videos I have. I actually, at one point, I made it into both somehow, miraculously. I've been in both a PewDiePie and a Jablinski Games video, not clickbait. If you go and search my channel, you will find that video. And also the sort of recent, within the past 15, 20 videos as you're scrolling through, there is the... Nintendo Switch third year anniversary video and at the end the 2DS murders the Nintendo Switch involving blood, gore, dark shadows and pretty decent filmography and editing on my part. Once again, not clickbait. So to everybody that watched, everybody that raided, everybody that partied with the D-Dub right here, I appreciate you so much. And uh, I hope everybody has a very nice day. I will see you guys on the next one right here on YouTube. My name is D-Dub. Have a good night, everyone. Peace out.